Hey there, welcome to our lower body and abs superset circuits workout. I'm telling you what, we have just over 20 minutes, but I know this workout is gonna rock the legs and the abs oh so good. And I am so glad you were here. We're gonna get right into our first exercise, which is a slow lower sumo squat. And then we have a squat using just one dumbbell on one side, and then that second circuit through will switch sides. But let's grab our dumbbells, start your watch if you wanna use that for this workout, and let's do this. So getting into position slow low on that sumo squat, I'm gonna count you down. Here we go. Lower down, eight, nice and slow. Here's three, two, one. I want you to push power through, squeeze the glutes. Good, lower back down, nice and slow. Usually you work at your own tempo, but right now, and power. I want you to work with me, going nice and slow. We're just gonna get a few reps in here. Power up, going in to that, that uh, squat with one dumbbell. Power up. Awesome. So one dumbbell for this exercise, holding it in the right hand. The next circuit we're gonna go through, the left, down. So working with one dumbbell is gonna be a little bit more challenging because things are uneven. So when things are uneven, our body has to work a little bit harder to stabilize. So you may notice one side is easier than the other with these single arm dumbbell exercises that we're doing. But again, mixing it up, challenging us in a new way, down and squeeze. Awesome, last one for a superset, checked off. Next, we're doing a lower body exercise plus an abs exercise. If you have your band, this is where you're gonna need that. Put it right above your knees. First exercise is going to be a kickstand Romanian deadlift or a staggered stance where you're gonna take one leg back. So we're gonna hold one dumbbell in the right hand, left leg is forward, Getting into position, here we go. So lowering it down, nice and slow. Power back up and squeeze. Keeping that dumbbell close here, letting that dumbbell come down right in the center. Band is adding just a little bit more pressure. If you've got the band on, make sure your knee is still in line with your toe. It's not falling in or out. We're gonna get ready to go down to the ground for plank jack. Keep your band on for a little bit more resistance, last one down, good, and up, plank jack right away, out, and let's begin, you can even take that modification on your knees, with the legs in and out, the heart rate is going to get up on this, I'm telling you what, I mean, we are boosting the heart rate, we are boosting the strength, you've got it, we're gonna get a break after this in just about 10 seconds. Almost there, here's three, two, one. Oh, nice, breathe it out. All right, now an abs superset. So you won't need your dumbbell. You can remove your band as well. So again, we're gonna work each circuit two times through, so we'll work the other side for that Romanian deadlift. We're gonna hold the upper body up, arms up, and we're just, or hands behind your head, and we're just going to do a reverse crunch. Here we go, little crunch. Little reverse crunch, so we're moving quick in this move, but keeping that upper body up off of the mat. So get your shoulder blades up, good, squeeze. The next exercise we're gonna go into is a crunch. We're gonna bring the arms straight up. We're gonna open the arms up wide. We're gonna bring the arms back together and we're gonna lower. Going in three, two, and one. Nice, all right. So arms up. We sit it up, open the arms, bring the arms together, lower back. Up. Or you've got that modification of just the crunch. Don't try to rush it. Keep it up, open it nice and slow, close it back up, down. Good, up, open, 
Time for one more. <laughs> You've got 30 seconds after this. Close oh, and down. Oh, okay. All right, we're doing it. First circuit done. We're gonna repeat that from the top. So going back into that nice, slow, Sumo squat, bring it up because we've got just about 15 seconds before we go. Are you going heavy enough? We are working just over 20 minutes today, so I am really challenging you to push right now. Get your dumbbells, slow sumo squat. We go in three, two, and one. Slow, four, three, two, one. Push and squeeze. Good, back down. Here's three, two, one, power up, back down. Good, really get that power up. Push through the heels, squeeze the inner thighs together. Slow, 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 and power. Oh my word, the legs are on fire. All right, and power. Next, going into that single arm dumbbell squat, left hand this time, here we go. This side is more challenging me for me, for sure. My left side, whew, can really feel my glutes on the left side activating for this one. Good to take note of where you notice these little challenges that things feel a little bit off or a little bit uneven, because that will help you identify any muscular imbalances and let you work on those whew, as needed. Down, oh, and squeeze, nice. I, uh, I do have to say, I apologize for all of my sound effects today. I think that's gonna happen because this one is pushing me. All right, we are going into that kickstand Romanian deadlift. So if you had your right leg back and the dumbbell in the right hand, we're gonna switch left hand with the dumbbell and that other leg will be forward. Get your band on, we've gotta go in about three seconds. Time is ticking and here we go, down and squeeze. Good, slow. Again, I want you to power up, push the hips forward, squeeze the glutes, really hit the hamstrings. Nice. And squeeze, good. Plank jacks next, keep that band on for a little bit more. Down, last one. Come on, come on, power it up. Awesome, dumbbell down, plank jack, let's go. Shoulders, elbows, wrists, all in line here. Breathing. Come on, really get that jack. Wide legs here. You're almost there, you're gonna get a break and then we're gonna go into that ab superset. And one. Oh, nice. No band, no dumbbells. You can pop the dumbbells out of the way. So after this last superset, you're gonna get a little bit of a recovery. A one minute recovery, that is. It's gonna be amazing. All right, rolling it back. Remember, we're gonna hold the upper abs up. So shoulder blades up, holding this upper position, just a small lift of the hips. Here's three, two, and one and crunch, good. Exhale with the lift. Come on, get those shoulder blades up. Nice job. In just about 10 seconds, we're gonna go into that crunch with the arms up, open and in. Two and one, nice. Bring the feet, plant. Plant it on the ground, lift it up, open, close, and down. Breathing here, good. You're over halfway. Remember, one minute of recovery is coming up. So push through it right now, almost there. Last one, and down, rest it up. Oh my goodness, you are killing it. Are you kidding me? All right, you are 
seriously rocking it. We are already on to circuit two. It's gonna follow that same structure where we have a superset, two lower body exercises. Then we're gonna have a lower body and an abs superset followed by an abs superset two times through. Then we have the three minute challenge at the end. That is gonna be really looking forward to it. But we've got 30 seconds and we've gotta bring it up. We have a goblet squat with the band if you want some added resistance. And then we're gonna go into an um, alternating curtsy lunge. Again, we're gonna keep the band on again for a little bit of a chance. We're, we're working just over 20 minutes, so I am pushing you today. Grab your bands. Remember, go heavy. If you can go up a little bit for what you usually do for your goblet squat, I want you to do that. And let's begin. Here we go. Down, squeeze. Good. Really maximize this exercise. Each rep, we're down, squeeze, push the hips. Down and squeeze. Awesome. Alternating curtsy lunge is gonna be next. You're just gonna grab that second dumbbell. If you wanna use dumbbells, last one. Awesome. Second dumbbell getting ready to go right into it. And up, good. Chest stays up. Breathing. Oh my word, the lower body. Feeling so good. We are really working the glutes and the hamstrings on this one. No joke. We're gonna get 30 seconds to rest soon. Then we're gonna be working abs. Last one, down. Oh, amazing. All right. Now we are working abs and lower body with our next superset. We're going into a stationary forward leaning lunge. Now with this forward lean as opposed to up and down, we're gonna work the glutes more. So grab your dumbbell. We're just gonna use one dumbbell on the same side for whichever leg is forward. So right leg leading first, lean it forward and let's begin. Down, good. With this forward lean, you still wanna make sure that this is a straight line. So you don't want your back arching or rounding. So you've got your shoulders and hips in alignment, making a straight line. Not straight up and down though. Good. Breathing, almost there. Perfect, bear crawl hold with donkey kicks, get into position. Here we go. Slow and controlled, so you can keep your form. Think about stamping the bottom of your foot straight up to the ceiling. Thirty seconds is next. Oh, the glutes on this one and the core. Last one and down. Oh, amazing job. Breathe it out. All right. Now, really have a challenging exercise for you. Uh, we are going into a side plank with a forward tap and then into a knee pull. We're gonna work one side and then the other side. So getting ready to bring it down on to, to the right side first, then we'll work the left side or whichever way, vice versa. All right, bring it up. Here we go, tap it out and knee pull. Forward, knee pull. Control that forward tap. So you really have to work to keep that leg out nice and straight. All we're gonna do is switch sides for that second exercise. Get those hips up, feel the obliques, out, pull, switch it right over, right over to that other side. And pull, good. Breathing on this one. Listen, last exercise. We get to repeat one more time. This workout is flying by. It's flying by just about as much as it's burning right now. It's going so fast, just like the burn is 
up there. Ooh. Almost there, come on, and pull. Nice. I felt that one in the glutes, I think, just about as much as I did in the core. Ooh. We are breathing it out. We've gotta begin again from the top in that goblet squat. Put your band down if you want a little added resistance because we've got the goblet squat into the curtsy lunges. So pop your band on. We're going in five seconds. So I'm gonna have this dumbbell right here ready to go for those curtsy lunges. And here we go. Down, keep your chest up. Weight is in the heels. Remember, get that squeeze at the top. And squeeze. Amazing job. Alternating curtsy lunge is next. We're gonna grab that extra dumbbell and go right into it. Keep your band on for just a little bit more. Last one, awesome. And here we go. Chest is up. Breathing. Keep it low, keep it low. Almost there. You get 30 seconds to rest. Let's make it even and nice. Breathing it out. Back into our forward leaning lunge. This time we're working on the left side. So we're gonna use one dumbbell. The dumbbell is gonna be on the same side for the leg that is leading. Then we have that bear crawl, alternating donkey kick. So remember, straight line, lean it forward just a little bit at the hips, and let's begin. Breathing. Again, I can tell that this is a side that I need to work on because this is super challenging. And I can feel the glute. Oh. Nice job. Breathe it out, you're almost there. We're gonna go in to those donkey kicks from the bear crawl hold. Last one, drop the dumbbell. Bear crawl hold first. Get into position and then start those kicks. Once you feel confident in that bear hold, Remember, stomp that foot on the ceiling. Keep that core engaged. Think about squeezing belly button to spine. One more each side, then you get 20. Or sorry, then you get 30. <sighs> nice. Breathe it out. All right, now. We're working the abs, going back into those side plank exercises with the forward tap to side knee pull. Just a few seconds left now. I'm gonna pop my stuff out of the way. All right, let's get into position so we can go modification or into that full side plank and let's begin. Breathing. Good, keep those hips up. Hey, you know, this is the last time through for these exercises. We've got three minutes after this for our three minute challenge. Last one, we're just switching. Switch it up quickly, right into that other side. Come on, make the most of it. This is your time. And I want you to make it count for all it's worth. Good. Almost there. And pull. Last one. Amazing, all right. Breathe it out, breathe it out. Enjoy your break right now. We are going for 
our three minute challenge. Enjoy the break. We're gonna let that heart rate come down a little bit. We're gonna let the muscles get a little bit of a break before we max them out all the way. It's gonna be awesome. <laughs> Listen, I love 20 minute workouts. I'm telling you what, life is too short to spend hours in the gym every day. So we're gonna do it in 20 minutes. We're gonna make every second count. That is what it's all about. All right, so for those three final exercises, you can use dumbbells if you want. Um, again, go heavy. Again, 20 minutes. Let's make this count. We're going into a squat to a forward stepping lunge. You can also take the modification if you're not keen on lunges. Then we have glute bridges. I'm gonna change the tempo on you. Then we have a glute bridge to a crunch. So bring it up, grab your dumbbells for that squat to forward lunge, and let's begin. One minute each. Down and forward. Right into that forward lunge. Keep it low. And forward, good. This is one minute here. No rest in between. Whew. Awesome. Breathing. Good. You've got under 15 seconds now. Remember, we're gonna bring it down into glute bridge. Use those dumbbells if you want. Last one. Perfect. Bring it down to the mat. Glute bridge with some tempo changes. So follow my tempo. I'm gonna count you. We're gonna do pulses. We're gonna do slow. But right now, normal glute bridge. Squeeze and down. Really squeeze at the top. Don't hold it down for long. Good. Squeeze. Press those hips up. All right, now I want you to hold it. I want you to pulse. Eight, seven, six, four, three, two, one. I want you to lower slow for four, three, two, one. Pop it up for four, three, two, one. Hold it up, hold it. Lower down for four, three, two, one. One, we're gonna come up for four, then we're gonna pulse it again. Get ready, pulse it. 16, 15. Good. Here's 10, nine, eight, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Down, good. Set your weights off to the side. We're gonna do a glute bridge to a crunch. So here we go. Glute bridge, crunch it up. Glute bridge and squeeze. Whew. Really feel it into the hamstrings as you squeeze. You are almost there. We are talking less than 30 seconds now. Come on, feel the abs, finish out strong. Oh my word, you have seriously made every second count. The stairs are gonna be interesting tomorrow. That is all I'm gonna say about that. Oh, almost there, a couple more. Squeeze, last one, up and down. If you can sit up, go for it. Because guess what? It is time for your stretch. Your legs are gonna love it and they're gonna feel so good after the stretch. So make sure, grab the stretch right there. I will see you over there because I'm gonna be waiting for you. Cannot wait to see you for your stretch, for our stretch. Thank you for joining me. I love you.